Uh, and thanks to you at home for joining us this hour. All right, so it is a, a small enough range of what they're looking for aesthetically that I'm thinking you basically have to register as having acceptable haircut A or acceptable haircut B. And those are sort of the two lanes that are available to you. Under haircut A, we have, for example, Ben Affleck or Josh Brolin or Mark Wahlberg or Jake Gyllenhaal or Chris Hemsworth or the great Anderson Cooper or the great Jimmy Fallon um, or that guy from the Hurt Locker who was so good. Um, I think you'd also have to put in, in, in the category of haircut A, um, James Bond, AKA Daniel Craig, also Bear Grylls. I hesitate with these last two though, because I can't totally confirm that those aren't just slightly Photoshop tweaked versions of the same cover. Put those two up side by side. Look. Daniel Craig and Bear Grylls, they turned them into exactly the same dude. So those are examples of haircut A in this environment. But don't be fooled uh, into thinking that their aesthetic range is singular. They will also occasionally accept a cover model with haircut B, which you see here. So if you cannot swing haircut A for whatever reason, you are also allowed to be El Baldo especially if you have some other kind of prop, a vaguely hair-like prop to distract from your baldishness. <laughs> so so the, the theme here, right, the aesthetic window here is only open a very slight amount. It's a pretty tight line here. I mean, they do occasionally break out and do something a little bit different. For example, here's a man in a hat. Here's a man on a motorcycle. Um, here's Harrison Ford, I think, taking his own pulse, maybe. Here is a scary-eyed man pretending to be a magician. Uh, here's a man with a slightly different photo filter than they usually use, right? So they do, they do sometimes mix it up, but not much, right? You clearly know what to expect if you go looking for Men's Journal magazine. Men's Journal magazine, <laughs> if it isn't clear enough, They've got a theme. They've got a specific look. But now, behold, we just got the brand new cover of next month's Men's Journal. And look. Hey, wait a minute. That's neither haircut A nor haircut B. Who is that? I mean, literally, given what Men's Journal usually does for a cover, what is this person doing on the front of Men's Journal? What, what even is her, is, her na is her name on the cover? Is she the Facebook detective? <laughs> is her name Style and Design? Is her name Tonic Cocktail? That's not a terrible stage name. It's, no, it's ridiculous. Turns out her name is on the cover. It is, whoop, down there on the right, second to last line in the fine print, right underneath Master the Cable Pulley. It says there in red, uh, she is Karen McDougal. And with this most unusual cover, the readers of Men's Journal Magazine are invited to, as you see there, get Karen McDougal's workout. You know what? This is kind of a departure for this particular magazine. <laughs> Can you spot which one of these kids is not like the other? Um, but you know, it's interesting. We did have a warning um, that this was coming. I, when I saw the warning that it was coming, I didn't totally believe that it would eventually arrive, but it has arrived. Uh, a few weeks ago, the Wall Street Journal gave the warning that we should look out for this when they reported that Karen McDougal, a former model in Playboy magazine, a woman who said she had a long running affair with President Trump, uh, the journal reported several weeks ago that she would be placed on the cover of, of all things, Men's Journal for their September issue despite what appeared to be total bewilderment by the magazine's own staff. Quote, Ms. McDougall would be a rare solo woman on the cover of the high-end men's lifestyle magazine, which typically showcases male celebrities such as actor Ben Affleck, TV host Jimmy Fallon, and professional wrestler John Cena.
Uh, the magazine's chief revenue officer and chief content officer have told some employees that they unsuccessfully appealed to David Pecker, the CEO of American Media, which owns the magazine and who reportedly ordered the cover. They asked him to reconsider placing Ms. McDougal on the Men's Journal cover. The executive said they argued the McDougal cover would hurt the magazine's reputation, making it harder to attract top talent for future covers and potentially alienating hard-won advertisers. But nevertheless, there she is. Get her work out, guys. Um, it says right there in the fine print. Four days before the presidential election in 2016, the Wall Street Journal uh, published the first report that this company, American Media, most famous for, 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 for owning the National Enquirer, but it's actually a conglomerate, the Journal reported four days before the election that American media, which is headed up by Donald Trump's friend David Pecker, the Journal reported that they had given Karen McDougal a $150,000 quote-unquote contract that included the exclusive rights to publish her story about having this alleged long-running extramarital affair with Donald Trump. Now, having obtained those exclusive rights to publish that story, American media and David Pecker decided to not run that story. So that, that, was, that was widely viewed as what's called a catch and kill deal in which American media basically told candidate, excuse me, basically did candidate Trump the favor of making sure that embarrassing story about this alleged affair would never run in print. So American media paid Ms. McDougal in August 2016, really late in the game, right? Donald Trump was already the Republican nominee for president at that point. Now, did the president have this affair? She says yes, he says no. You say, la, 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 I'm plugging my ears, stop talking about this, Matto, I don't wanna know, I understand. But federal prosecutors are reportedly looking into whether that transaction was an effort to influence the outcome of the election, an effort that potentially was illegally coordinated with candidate Trump and his campaign. That is a matter of federal criminal investigation. And an audio tape apparently made surreptitiously by Trump lawyer Michael Cohen has since been released, which includes Trump on tape with Cohen discussing that payment to Karen McDougal before the election. And specifically, the two of them discuss Trump's intention to pay American media back that $150,000 that they paid out to Karen McDougal to make that story go away. So now there's two new things. Um, number one is this, American media really has now taken this somewhat hilarious step, right? Where's my Ben Affleck? Where's my Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? They, they've, they've taken this somewhat hilarious step to try to make it look like that contract they signed Karen McDougal up to right before the election. They're trying to make it look like that contract had nothing to do with catching and killing her story about an alleged affair with Trump. They're now trying to make it seem like that was a legit publishing contract because they really did want to lock up the cover story rights to Karen McDougal's workout for Men's Journal. If the Wall Street Journal is right, American media went to such lengths to scrape this together at the last minute uh, that they didn't even actually take her picture for this magazine cover or even talk to her for this magazine cover. Quote, Ms. McDougal has not participated in a photography shoot or interview with Men's Journal staff, according to American media employees and a person familiar with the matter. The magazine's editors plan to use old pictures for the cover and to recycle archived content for a piece about Ms. McDougal's fitness routine. So that's the first new thing. Uh, American media and the president's friend, David Pecker, putting together this magazine cover scratching it together all of a sudden uh, to make it look like that $150,000 deal with Karen McDougal to cover up the president's alleged affair. They're trying to make it look like it wasn't that at all. They really, really were after her for her mastery of the cable pulley or whatever. And according to their, uh, the reporting on this, and according to their own employees, to take the advertiser hit, to take the editorial hit to their magazine, which this entailed, we, we know they were even warned about that by their own senior employees. American media nevertheless had to think this was worth it. They apparently had to be scared enough by the legal jeopardy they thought they might otherwise be in when it comes to this contract, this woman and what they did with her for Trump during the campaign. They apparently thought it was worth it and they really did go ahead and publish this. So that's one new thing.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.